Look at all these birds. So many. What you doing over here? Who? Lorenzo's what? What's he doing? He's honking. Lorenzo. Hey, dudes. What's going on, filthy creatures? Look at this. Look at this mess. This is literally. We fill it up every day. Nice and clear, awesome, beautiful, clean water. This is how it looks in 10 minutes. It's crazy. What is going on, my friends? How do you freaking do? Real exciting. So you guys remember... What? I did. You guys remember we got emu eggs on eBay 56 days ago today. We didn't know if they were going to hatch. We didn't know what the hell was going on. We literally bought emu eggs on eBay. Strange, right? Two of them. The success rate... It's like 47% or something, the hatch rate, all right? So I honestly didn't think that they were gonna, I, I don't know what I thought. We've been keeping up with them. We've been turning them by hand every single day. I turn them, Gianna turns them, like several times throughout the day. Daily care taking care of these eggs. And uh, today, they finally started hatching. I'm so freaking excited. So far, one is making its way out. Not only that, but on my birthday, when I went to Tom's house, We've been wanting peacocks also. We got three peacock eggs from Tom. Also have been incubating. And those guys just started hatching also. So super freaking fun. Today is gonna be awesome. We're gonna show you guys the baby birds. We're gonna set everything up. Oh, look at that basilisk. You see him? You see him right there on the corner? Look at that little guy. These guys are all over the property. Oh, man, he's gone. They're so freaking fast. Working hard on that thing. It's coming out really cool, so. Hopefully, I'm gonna finish that up today, too. I've just been making it extra awesome, you know? Oh, let me let all the stinking dogs out real fast. Got a whole lot to do today. Got to pressure clean stuff. Got to take care of the freaking dogs. Got to take care of the birds. Got to take care of freaking Onyx. Got to make sure his girlfriend ate or if she has it. Ew! Oh, I just, oh God, I just stepped in poop. Oh God, that's what I get for not freaking paying attention stepping in poop you got to be careful over here you know that ranch life is also that step in poop life there's little freaking landmines everywhere got my little ranch hand though taking care of the birds this is gianna's little area she takes care of all that so what do you guys think about gianna's gonna start hatching out all these eggs we're gonna get a really big incubator start incubating everything and just hatching out birds that way you guys can get some of our birds, right? You think that's a good idea? Right, Gianna? Oh, yeah. You're gonna start slinging chicken? <laughs> I do really love all these birds though. Like, just look how beautiful some of these chickens are. My little dude, Brady, of course, you're so cute. All right, you need some camera time too. Relax, stop screaming so much. Oh, are you enjoying doing some uh, little stuff bath? And I love these chickens too. So real quick, before we get, oh my god, I almost just dropped this stupid thing, before we get even more into this video. Another thing that we're going to do towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned, is I'm going to set up this new bird feeder. Check this thing out. So cool. Has a camera on it, identifies your birds, you can take pictures of them and stuff. So sick. Stay tuned. End of the video. Oh, oh, let's go show everybody the emus. You have a new little emu brother or sister. I don't know. Look at this, guys! So freaking cool! Let me just show you the incubator that we're using. This is from my buddy Mike Wilbanks. Stand up incubator, dude. This thing is so awesome. Holds humidity great, keeps the temperature perfect. <gasps> Hello, little Gary. How are you, sir? All right, so let's take this cute little guy out and I'm gonna show you. Man, we've been waiting for this moment for so long. So I was at work yesterday when it hatched. Gianna was home with him all day 
and uh, she was kept kept checking on the eggs like every 20 minutes to see if she can get it hatch at the right time. And uh, yeah, you said you uh, you just missed it by like a minute, huh? Hello. Yeah, she barely, she literally, right after, I mean, he came exploding out of the egg real fast. And then, uh, yeah, it happened in like a split second. So she wasn't actually able to get the initial breakout, but we got a cool little clip that Gianna sent me while I was at work yesterday. And I was so stinking excited. It was so hard to stay there. But look at this little cute baby. Oh my God. So this is the smaller one. We're still naming both of them because we want to name them Minji and Gary from South Park. But, so this is the smaller of the two eggs, remember? So this egg was 400 and something grams, and then this one was substantially larger at 640 grams. We kept track the whole time that we were incubating them, trying to make sure, you know, that we uh, were rotating them every day and doing everything that we needed to do, humidity levels, make sure the heat was on point every day. I have a little heat gun, we check the heat all the time. And the last week or so, we've been taking them out in the morning. We take the eggs out, we put them on the table, and we whistle at them and see if we can see movement. And both of these eggs have shown us movement. Literally, the whole last week, we take them out of the incubator, put them right here on the table, and they wiggle back and forth when you whistle at them. And then today, I actually have a stethoscope that I ordered on Amazon. It should be here in a little tiny bit, so maybe we'll finish off the video with that if it comes in time. But. We sit here and we whistle with these little guys and it's so freaking awesome. You can literally hear him whistling back. I don't know if they are male or female yet either, obviously, but I was, uh, this website that I use, I've even, those same website that I used to find out the sex of Taruk years ago, they do egg testing. So I can literally just send them the eggs from these guys and then they can be DNA tested that way and we'll know which one's male, which one's female. Maybe we got two females, maybe we got two males. Who the heck knows? But I definitely want to find out the sex of them ASAP. Look at this little guy. He just wants to get out and run. I want to let him run around so bad. Look at these little legs. But I don't want anything to happen to him, right? So they're very fragile when they're little, obviously, and you have to be really careful with these slick surfaces. I was reading a lot of things and studying online, and that's the number one injury for babies is they get that whole splayed leg thing, and then they can actually rip tendons that are on the back parts of their legs that are super fragile, and it's a very, very expensive surgery to get done, like $3,000, you know what I mean? And who, nobody's gonna do, like, I don't, I don't have money for that right now, so we wanna be very, very careful with these guys, make sure they don't get injured, and stay super safe. So in this video, we are actually going to show you how to set up the brooder for this also. We're gonna leave Gary in here with old Minge, Okay, because I want them to hear each other. Gary will chirp at this egg. You can literally hear chirping coming out of this egg also, which is really, really cool. Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys with the stethoscope later, but. Oh, here, can you hear that? Listen. You hear that? Hopefully you can hear that in this video. Yep. Hopefully you guys can faintly hear it. It's super faint, but obviously it's not this one because it would be really loud. So that little tiny, that little tiny thing you just heard in the video, that is actually this emu right here chirping inside of the egg, which means the internal pip is done. So there's two different layers. There's obviously the super hard, hard shell that they have to break out of, but there's also that really thin little membrane that encases them and keeps them protected. So they break through that first. They initially start breathing and stuff. That's why it's also very important to not rotate your eggs three days before they hatch because you don't want them to do that initial pip and then you turn the egg, all the fluids go, and then you're gonna literally suffocate and drown the babies inside their eggs and we don't want that to happen. This guy is moving around in here. He's wiggling, he's chirping. I wanna be very, very careful. No, yeah, he's still wiggling and chirping, yeah. So, no, he's wiggling. He's definitely wiggling. And he's the bigger one. So just imagine, this is the smaller one. He had no problem getting out of the egg, so there's no reason why this one won't either. Yo, and not only do we have emus hatching right now, but our peacocks are hatching also. Ooh, with them, look at this. This is a baby peacock. So, so far, one out of three, 
You can see this one right back here is pipped also. Look, there's this little beak right there. You see that? Look at that cute little guy right there. That's the beak right there. So he just has his nose out. He's still soaking up all the embryonic fluid and all that good, juicy deliciousness, all right, that they need. These guys don't need to eat or drink for about, you know, 24 to 72 hours even. So they're totally fine. But Gary, we're going to offer some, uh, we're going to offer some water to Gary here in just a little bit because it's been 24 hours since he's been out of the shell. God, look how cute this little man is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Raising emus over here is going to be the absolute greatest. Look how cute you are, dude. Oh my goodness. And then this is the egg right here that it came out of. How stinking cool is that? We're going to save these guys. Man, today's just been one of those days where I'm doing 5,000 things at once. But check this out real quick. I just redid. Whew, yeah, it's a little bit heavier. Way more better. So check this out. I just redid this gator cage real quick. Put one by twos around the entire thing and sandwiched this chicken wire in. So it is super, super escape proof. These alligators are getting bigger. So I just wanna make sure there's no funny stuff going on. The bigger they get, the stronger they get. And they're just, they're just inches away from being able to tail whip and bust out all that chicken wire. So I want to make sure this is super, super legit and be safe before I'm sorry. All right, so this new bird feeder, this is our bigger chicken coop right here. Perfect spot. There we go. Booyah. Look how cool this thing is. All right, so this just goes on this freaking thing like that. Company is called NetView. It's called the Birdify Feeder. So cool. Let's fill it up. Dude, look at that. All right, so we got this thing loaded up. Antenna adjusted. Wi-Fi connected. Took me like two seconds to download the app. I'm really excited about that. It's really cool. Stay tuned for some... Uh, shots of it working in action let's see what kind of birds we get all right so right off the rip we got a couple blue jays super cool that these were the first guys to show up a pair of cardinals which is awesome i love having these guys fly around the backyard i had them at the boca house too they're just so cool got a little lone male super bright red and then a couple corvids Bunch of squirrels and all sorts of other mockingbirds and stuff also. Now I gotta move a brooder inside and we need to get it ready for the baby emus. I'm gonna use some AstroTurf and a couple other things just to make him nice and happy. While Gianna is, gobbles all the way up in the top. Oh my God, look at this. There's two of them in there? What the hell? Gobbles! What are you doing, dude? Look how high up he is. Oh yeah, look at that. Dude, they're growing up. Starting to fly. Gobbles, you are so cool. Have to document. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh baby. I'm in the middle. I'm still outside doing a hundred things. Hold on, let's turn this down a bit. Oh god. Dude, I'm so excited right now. You should grab your little stool. Go grab a stool. It's outside. I have it right on here. Gary! Is your brother about to make an appearance? Look at this, guys. Wait, Look at that. We still got a while to go, but how exciting is that? Holy crap. Oh, Gary, oh my so God, good. dude. Yes. I am so freaking excited. I can't believe this is happening right now. This is like a long, 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 long time awaited like dream. But dude, I've been wanting emus for so freaking long, it's I can insane. To Gary and that's what we did. You can't whistle? Yeah, that's why we left Gary in here. So that way he can move around this egg and he helps stimulate the other one and then they whistle to each other. Like hopefully when I'm editing this video, you guys can hear the whistling that he was doing before, but maybe we can get him to whistle again real quick. Ready? Oh yeah, you can hear him. You can hear both of them. You can hear both of them. You can hear both of them uh, whistling right now. <gasps> Baby, do you want to see? Get out of here, Dad. Do you want to see here? I'm gonna show you. Go look. Oh my goodness, so cool. Oh god, this is so cool. Man, I'm not gonna be able to sleep until this 
baby emu is out also. Hello, Gary. How are you? Very cute. What do you think, baby? Do you love him? What do you think about that, huh? Do you, love you think him? that that's very cool? Huh? Oh, yeah, Gary. oh my god, look at that! So <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute! And then, yeah, the peacock. Peacock already started standing up and walking around in there, too. This little peacock in the back, you can see that egg is still pipped, but he hasn't come out yet either, so we're waiting on that. Man, this video just keeps getting better. Oh my goodness, Gary, I'm so excited. Little Minge! Oh man, I can't wait to show you this video one day. It's gonna be so cute. Very, very cute. Oh yes. <laughs> oh man. Real quick, check out this light. We're about to go use it outside. From Olight, 7,000 lumens. This thing is super legit, made out of aluminum, insanely bright. Our turkeys have been sleeping up in the tree every single night, so we make sure we come out, make sure everybody's safe, check them all out, and this flashlight is great. Like, super freaking bright. You can adjust it, it's got these LEDs where you can see the brightness level, you can turn it up, turn it down. There's a few different color modes on it also, which is really cool. Not only that, there's this sick spotlight that you can switch it to. So this is the wide angle, and then there's a little tiny switch on it. Oh, I wonder what all that smoke is from. And then boom, look at that spotlight. So freaking powerful. I'll put the link down below, guys. Go get one for yourself. These things are sick. So maybe it's, it's not her eggs then. Hi, Sharon. Gary. Where is Minge? He needs to come out already. Oh boy, here we go. Next morning, woke up and Minji is out. So we got Gary and the peacock. And then we got old Minge right here. Hey, look. Came out of this, look how big this freaking egg was. Like, this is not gonna be a big email. Look at that, it's huge. God, look how cute. So I just took a paper towel and carefully, it was just laying on top of him. It wasn't really like, he wasn't absorbing it still or anything like that. But still super wet. It must've just came out of the egg like, dude, probably a couple hours ago. I mean, you saw how, what she was just a second ago or he she whatever so i'm just gonna close this incubator back up and we're gonna let these guys just do their thing and get nice and dry before we set them up in the brooder i don't want to touch them or irritate them too much they're still getting used to standing up and walking around so we're gonna let them do its thing oh you're so cute though god this is so exciting hello Minge and Gary. Hey, you'll be nice to your peacock friend. Okay? Be nice to each other. Here's the setup we got for our little dudes. So you don't want slippery surfaces for your emus to run on because they'll slip and fall and hurt themselves. So I put that AstroTurf down so it's not slippery and they uh, don't hurt themselves. So this will, this will be like the perfect setup. Water, food, heat, light. We're going to situate in just a second. We're going to put this inside though. Look at Teddy, they could have jumped out. But we're doing this real fast. So this is our peacock. Hello, Mr. Peacock. All right, let's go put you back over here. Put you with our email friend. There you go, see, now. Now he can walk up and stand in here. Way better. Not slippery surface, that way they can't splay their legs or any funny business. Meal Minge. We're going to put up top. Are you ready, Minge? Hello, Minge. How are you, you cute little bird? So we're gonna put Minge up here. So, you can really dry off. See, we got the fans up there. We still got it to 90. I know it says 98 on here, but it's really 97.5 is what the accurate reading is. But we're gonna let him start to wake up and 
We're gonna let him get used to everything, get nice and strong, start standing up on his own. Give him a little bit of clearance right there. This is the shell that, oh no, this is Gary's shell. And then that's the Minji shell. So I gotta save these shells also, cause these are what we have to send in for the DNA testing to find out what sex both these guys are. But look how freaking cute, oh my God. So for food, we got the, uh, the probiotic medicated chick starter feed, okay? And then we have some water with some probiotics for them also. Look at them starting to move around and stuff. Oh my goodness, it's so freaking cute. Oh, I love you guys, you're adorable. Oh, they are so cute, I don't wanna go to work. I guess that's it for this video. Yeah, we'll do another update video here in just a little bit. So today is day three of Gary and day one of Minji. And then the peacock, you, what'd you want to name him? Perry for a boy? And what for a girl? Penelope. Penelope for a girl? So Perry for a boy, Penelope if it's a girl. We can tell Hida. Yeah. We'll find out soon. Yeah. Toe, go away, Toe, you get out of here. Man, I have to go to work. I'm so bummed. I just want to stay and hang out with the birds all day. Do you think she can get in here? She's so cute. Of course she can get in here. She's a cat. She can just jump right in. <laughs> Easy. You remember how easily she got in the other one? This is a little taller, but she can get anywhere. So until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Watching the peacock hatch. And the, watching the emus hatch. The peacock hatch. So freaking cool. I'm so excited about emus. My boys were over this morning to look at the fence. We're gonna get the fence finished. But it's gonna take a while. The emus are gonna be in the house for the first two to three months, okay? They're gonna be in this brooder for a while and then we're gonna move them out to the garage and then we're gonna move them out to a pen outside. We're just gonna slowly, they're gonna slowly graduate to bigger areas. So stay tuned for all of that. I'll post lots of stories and all that stuff of them growing up and running and just being super cute and recording their growth and all that stuff. It's going to be awesome. So make sure, if this is the first time watching the channel, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification button. Go on TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Stay tuned for the raffle coming up. Within the next week or so, that's going to be out. Stay tuned, guys. Riders Ranch is getting there. So until next time, I gotta get to work. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you. Appreciate you. God bless. Goodbye.